Hey, how are you? Hello and good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm so excited to chat with you again. Oh my God. It's because of you that I find so much love inside the kitchen. In fact, what I've done is I've created a what I call a couple's challenge where my wife and I are in the kitchen as chefs and we've got to make everything work. And it's because of you. I love so much. This makes me so happy. You just made my day for like... Well, what you're doing on The Great Recipe is, I mean, you're taking everyday people. These are people that are cooking in their own homes, and you're and you're giving them that opportunity to be seen. Exactly. I mean, that's you nailed it. We have these amazing home cooks, and it's, it's about representation, right? Like, it's about putting real-life home cooks on, like, in this beautiful platform to share not just their dishes and the recipes, but also the stories behind them mm-hmm. and the context behind them, because all of that together is part of the fabric of what American food is and American cuisine. See, I love the fact that you talk about the stories because every dish has a story. And one of the things that inspires me when, when I'm watching the show is I'll go to Google and I'll say, okay, they did this on, the, on this recipe on, the, on this show. I got to know how do I do this because I want to cook it at home to see if I can have the same experience. I love that you do that because I think I think the show really is so much about education and it's about sharing uh, not just how to cook, but like why we cook, right? Yeah. And and what is it that makes that food so special and those ingredients so special? Um, yeah, and we're really showcasing that. And I learned so much. The judges learned so much. We've tried things that we've never tried before. We learn new cooking techniques, and it really is just this sort of interactive experience. Um, the I you know it's like the the food itself is so important but it's nothing without the people behind it and the stories behind it and i love that our show allows the space for the, us to to really celebrate that and to recognize that well you're in nashville this season oh i'm in the south as well we cook really differently in this area of the woods we i love nashville and i love southern cooking uh i'm, I'm a new yorker but i love it and yeah, it's been such a great experience. We're back. It, this is we're in this beautiful um, new barn. It, this place called Green Door Gourmet. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is my first time in Nashville, and I'm such a big fan now. Uh, yeah, and it's. I think it's just really great to, you know, the food is not just Southern food because our cooks are from all over the mm-hmm, country. Mm-hmm. But I think just being in that environment, uh, you know, it feeds into what we're making. I mean, the food, the, the ingredients that they're cooking with are literally from from the area. So, uh, yeah, it's just such a beautiful way to kind of showcase. One of the things that your show really inspires us to do is is that you, you will take chances with foods from other countries. And that's when we go to the Super G here in Charlotte, because it's a it's a world market of all foods. And and it's because of shows like yours that we explore those aisles and bring new tastes inside the house. I love that. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing is like American food just sort of gets dismissed as yep. being like just burgers, pizza, right? And people think it's so simple, but if this is a nation of immigrants and this is a nation of people from all over the world, and it's such a huge diverse country in terms of um, the environment and its region, right? And it, it's it's uh, like California and Miami and uh, Vermont, like these are completely different areas and they grow different things and they have different uh, cuisines and all of that together is part of what we eat. So yeah, we're celebrating all of that. Um, the, the dishes come from all over the country, all over the world, and together they make up American food. I tell you one thing I would love to see on the show sometime, only because I'm such a realist, I would love to see cleaning up afterwards. I want to see people washing their dishes because I think that's part of the story as well. The conversation continues. I love that. I, I mean, I won't be doing any of the dishwashing. Um, I don't even do it in my own house. My husband <laughs> handles my dishwashing. <laughs> I cook clean. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is part of it. It is funny though because sometimes you, the, the, I don't think it ends up in in the final shot. But sometimes they'll be kind of running in between. You know, especially if they're using like a blender and they have to reuse it for something else. They'll go and they rinse it out. Uh, that is part of that is part of the process. But um, we do kind of we give them a little help with the cleaning because uh, we, we want we want them to focus on the food. <laughs> <laughs> is there ever a situation where your eyes think it knows what the taste is going to be? The palate says a different story once you taste it. Absolutely. I mean, that is, yeah, for sure. Especially with some ingredients that are new to us. So, uh, yeah, there absolutely are these moments where we're trying dishes that are completely new. And so you don't really know what you're you're, you're getting into. You look at it and you have an idea and then you taste it and you're like, whoa, this is you know, it may look really plain and then it's just this explosion of flavor in your mouth. Um, and then not only that, but once we hear the story, 
right? Once we hear the the the, the story behind it, it, it almost like opens it up even more. It's like when you go to the eye doctor, they're like, which is better, A or B, A or B. Um, yeah, it just kind of like brings it all into focus. What have you personally learned from all of these chefs from across the country? Because we're all coming from different regions. Oh my gosh, I think I've learned so much. And I think one of the things that uh, is so exciting about the show is that just being in that environment, even if you're not making a specific recipe that they made, the techniques or the ingredients oh, yeah. have a way of sort of informing my cooking. My, my dog's joining the, con- the conversation. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it all kind of takes part in, in a, what we're doing here. And it it's like, I'll be cooking in the kitchen and I'll be using an ingredient. And then I'm suddenly thinking, oh, this is like the ginger that Ajo was using yes. for a recipe. Yes. Or if I'm cutting, um, you know, cutting a lemon, I'm like, oh, I remember how they cut it in this way. And then you, you kind of put a little bits of that into your own cooking. So it's not necessarily about following the exact recipe from A to Z, but sometimes it may just be taking a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and uh, bringing that all together. Wow. You got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Oh, my gosh. I, absolutely. I will be there. And I'll, I'll probably bring my dog Jojo with yeah, me. I love it. My, my, my dog Jazzy is right behind me. So, hey, it's family. Well, you be brilliant today, okay? 